Really, the poster is about um, the retrospective look at a large tuber sclerosis database, uh, which is uh, curated by the uh, Tuber Sclerosis Alliance. And there are over 1,300 uh, participants in the database. And this poster is specifically looking at those that have developed the SEGA and the treatments that they have undergone over time. Historically, the primary treatment was uh, for those that require treatment. Not, not all SEGAs will require um, treatment. Some can just be observed and uh, they don't all grow into uh, problematic lesions. So um, when treatment is required, historically surgical resection or removal was the treatment of choice. Uh, shunting was also done, but usually in circumstances where the patient had uh, raised intracranial pressure, and that could be done either at the time of uh, SEGA resection or sometimes done beforehand um, to stabilize the patient and then the SEGA would be resected. However, there is now a, a viable treatment with the mTOR inhibitors and um, the typical ones that are used are sirolimus and then everolimus, uh, which is uh, now is a branded product and actually approved as an indication uh, for treatment of subependymal gi giant cell astrocytomas. Um, first of all, the, the study demonstrated that not everybody gets treatment. Uh, uh, slightly under half um, received treatment. And then um, the majority of those uh, received SEGA resection. However, in re uh, the, the drug actually, Everolimus became available in 2010 and Sirolimus was available slightly before that. So once the mTOR inhibitors have um, become available, those drugs have now really in large measure um, supplanted the, uh, the SEGA resection as, as first-line treatment.